gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise uh, this evening to announce that I introduced some legislation today dealing with the uh, calamity that we have found at our airports with TSA. Something has to be done. Everybody's fed up. The people are fed up. The pilots are fed up. I'm fed up. You know, I've come to this floor many times over the past many years and complained about the terrible foreign policy we've had, the terrible monetary policy we had, the excessive spending and the debt, and also the tax policy. But what we're doing and what we're accepting and putting up with at this airport is so symbolic of us just not standing up and saying enough is enough. I know the American people are starting to wake up, but our government, those in charge, Congress as well as the executive branch, are doing nothing. Yes, they're talking about maybe backing off and allowing the pilots go through. But can you think how silly the whole thing is? The pilot has a gun in the cockpit, and he's managing this aircraft, which is a missile, and we make him go through this groping x-ray exercise, having people feel in their underwear. It's absurd. And it's time we wake up. The bill I've introduced will take, take care of this. But we have to realize that the real problem is that the American people have been too submissive. We have been too submissive. It's been going on for a long time. And this was, not, this was to be expected even from the beginning of the TSA. And it's deeply flawed. Private property should be protected by private individuals, not bureaucrats. But the, 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 the bill that I've introduced will take care of it. It's very simple. It's one paragraph long. It, remu it, remu it, remu it removes the immunity from anybody in the federal government that does anything that you or I can't do. If you can't grope another person, and if, if you can't x-ray people and endanger them with possible x-ray, you can't take nude photographs of individuals, why do we allow the government to do it? We would go to jail if an individual, he'd be immediately arrested if an individual citizen went up and did these things, and yet we just sit there and calmly still and say, oh, they're making us safe. And besides, the argument from the executive branch is that when you buy a ticket, you have sacrificed your rights, and it's the duty of the government to make us safe. That isn't the case. You never have to sacrifice your rights. The duty of the government is to protect our rights not to use them and do what they have been doing to us. The pilots, hopefully, you know, will be exempted from this. But another suggestion I have that might help us, let's make sure that every member of Congress goes through this. Get the x-ray, take a look, and make them look at the pictures, and then go through one of those groping uh, pat down. And then I think there'd be a difference. Have everybody in the executive branch, anybody a cabinet member, make them go through it and look at it. Maybe they would pay more attention. But this it doesn't work. It does, this is not what makes us safer. This is preposterous to think that the TSA has made us safer. You know, when you think about it, if you look at what's happened over the past 10 years, it, during this last decade, we lost 3,000 on a terrible, terrible day for America. But since that time in this last decade, we have also lost 6,000 of our military personnel going over there and trying to rectify this problem. We have lost 400,000 people on our government-run highways. We have lost 150,000 individuals from homicides. So I think there's reason to be concerned, reason to deal with this problem. We're not dealing with the right way. We're doing the wrong thing. And groping people at the airport doesn't solve our problems. What has solved our problems basically has been that they put a good lock on the door and they put a gun inside the cockpit. That's been the greatest boon to, to our safety. Safety should be the responsibility of the individual and the private property owner. But right now, we assume the government's always going to take care of us and we are supposed to sacrifice our liberties. I say that is wrong, we are not safer, and we also know there are individuals who are making money off this. Michael Chertoff, I mean, here's a guy that was the head of the TSA selling the equipment, and the equi equi equipment's questionable. We don't even know if it works, and it may well be dangerous to our health. You know, the way I see this, if this doesn't change, I see what has happened to the American people is we have accepted the notion that we should be treated like cattle. 
make us safe, make us secure, put us in the barbed wire, feed us, fatten us up, and then they'll eat us. And we're a bunch of cattle, and we have to wake up and say, we've had it. I think this whole idea of an opt-out day is just great. We ought to opt out and make the point, get, a, get somebody to watch it, take a camera. It's time for the American people to stand up, shrug off the shackles of our government at TSA at the airport. Mm -hmm.